Hello everyone, my name is Jacob and today in Spin Tires I'm rescuing that Niva with this Defender uh, but also I'm gonna be testing the Mercedes uh, G-Class uh, a little bit later uh, so let's pull this thing out uh, let's see oh, why can I open the hood? that's 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 a bit weird um, but kinda cool also so let's see uh, why can't I winch the Lada from the front that's a very good question um, I cannot winch it from the front okay let's just winch it from the back I guess Put on the lights because it's getting to night time. Try not get stuck uh, anywhere here. Apparently, the Niva just doesn't have a an anchor point at, at the front somehow. Uh, so whatever. Um, can it reach this far? I kind of doubt it, but we can try, I guess. Let's see. Um, there you go. Come on. Come on, camera. Oh, it's just, just a bit too far. Okay. Let's uh, move it back a bit. It should be able to pull it through the mud as well. Um, the main. Oh shit! I've got to back a bit now. The main thing, of course, is oh, it's got uh, reverse lights as well. That's nice. I really like that. Um, it looks very nice, actually. Uh, okay. Let's see. Winch, winch, pull. Let's pull this thing. Um, okay. Here we go. Come on, Niva. Out you come. Out to come, come on. Yes. Oh, beautiful. Just a bit more. That's nice. All right. Let's uh, get rid of that. And um, let's let's park this thing up this trail somewhere. Um, that might be nice. Well, this is a nice swamp here. I've been here before. Um, let's just park this thing in the swamp and see if the Niva can can pass the swamp. Actually, this thing, the Defender, doesn't really have a problem with the swamp either, which is nice. Uh, that's always quite welcome. Oh shit. Nice. Okay. Let's park this thing here. I think I've seen enough of it. Um, let's jump back into the Niva. And then, uh, should we go across the the, um, the swamp, or should we go here somewhere? Let's put on. I've got all wheels on, and I've got the flock on. There's another rock right there, uh, which I almost went over. Oh shit! Oh shit! Really? What is going on here, exactly? What am I stuck on here? It's just sort of stuck on an invisible something, I don't know. Come on! Oh shit. Alright. I have made myself unstuck. Yes, beautiful. Oh no. As I said, look at this. This thing just glides over everything. I, I like that much better. Uh, even though it may get easy, easily stuck or more easily than the Defender on like rocks and shit. <laughs> oh shit, that was nice. It just sort of glides over this uh, much more than the Defender. I don't know why. why 
why that's a fact. Well, I do know why that's a fact, because it's much lighter. Um, but I don't know why I like this more, even though it has less power and everything. But I kind of do actually. Oh shit. Uh, so the current leader in the competition uh, is definitely the Lada Niva. Uh, and uh, after after we test the G the G class, I'll be able to um, tell you who is the winner overall. That's a lot of mud. The flock. And let's go to the left side here somewhere. Right here. Jump. Nice. I sort of busted the front, but it's fine. And for these tight sort of uh, little pathways, this thing is just great. Oh shit. I have not put the lights on, oh, maybe I shouldn't. <laughs> I think the, um, the cooling fans are just like moving mud around or some shit. It looks really interesting. Come on. Yeah, this thing would definitely benefit from some larger tires. Uh, that would just make it that much more easier. Um, and of course by larger tires, I mean wider tires. Because most trucks are really not that useful. Alright, so uh, this thing is out of the mud and uh, I think... It's sort of time that we take a look at the, the, the G-Class as well. So let's do that. Um, where is it? There it is. So this thing, uh, it looks like it's in a military configuration. It's got a soft top. Um, it's got the camouflage paint. It's got some antennas on the back. Uh, it's got the stock wheels, which is nice. Um, it looks like the very very base model so just a military standard um, and looks like it can have a lot of stuff but I'm not going to use any of those uh, what the hell is children of war what is this okay I'm, I'm not sure what that is something inside oh there's just like more dudes inside okay interesting uh, anyway so this thing is pretty much stock uh, and uh, I'm gonna take this thing out as well uh, being German and uh, Austrian build this thing should be the best um, the most quality build of them all uh, and uh, we're gonna have to see about that anyway um, the sound is quite interesting uh, it's got it's got some power. Oh shit, what was that? Oh, the, the sounds are really, really cool. Nice. Okay, let's put all wheels on and deflock as well. Um, come on. So, right from the start, this thing feels. Um, I'm not sure. How much power it's got? If it's got, uh, I would say this way. Uh, I think it's got a bit more power than the Niva, but not that much really. Um, oh shit! But I think it's slightly higher off the ground. So uh, I was sort of going along, and uh, I flipped the thing. Um, yeah. I'm not sure why, well actually I was going across this, I was trying to sort of go in the middle between the, 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 the top trail and the bottom trail and I sort of 
made it up onto the 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 sort of raised up bit there and uh, just flipped it um, and uh, yeah I mean it's a thing uh, this thing is not flip proof because it's just a normal uh, sort of off-road uh, vehicle uh, sort of a casual one I should say it's not really designed to be flip proof um, because it's also designed to go on the road um, and it needs to have some space inside also but uh, it's quite interesting uh, you can see the the underside of the model here uh, and it's pretty ve pretty well detailed actually uh, very nice uh, you can see the the solid axles uh, and uh, the transmission there and then it has the transfer case also um, overall pretty cool uh, so I'm gonna try to um, sort of pull this thing back uh, into the garage um, rescue it back to the garage and where the hell am I anyway right there so technically I could rescue it with the defender possibly um, yeah I guess so alright let's do that uh, because I really didn't do the defender that much um, and I, I really have not decided yet oh shit no don't do that I have not decided yet uh, which of these uh, which of these cars is the best? I have decided that it is not the Defender, uh, but I have not decided between the Neva and the the G truck. Um, so I'm gonna have to see about that anyway uh, when I when I flip that thing over with with this thing. I'm just gonna go across here. And this thing shouldn't really have a lot, a lot of uh, problems. Getting, oh shit, that's pretty nice. Oh, I like that. I enjoyed that quite a lot. The little sort of jumps. It's pretty nice. God, this thing is very loud compared to both of the other two. Oh shit, that was not very good. Alright. Come on. Okay. I can do this. Some more here. Let's go on the road there. Oh, there you are. Alright. That was easy. Um, maybe I can just bump bump flip the thing. Uh, that might be possible. Oh, shit. Okay. Let's see if I can do that without flipping this thing. Uh, I'm going to test this thing, actually. How, how flippable it is. No, I can't. I can't really do it. Uh, should I flip it over and over again, or should I just flip it back on the wheels? Mm. Let's try and flip it back onto its wheels. Uh, so I'm going to have to go up here for that. And I'm going to have to... Oh shit, trees. Trees are, on. trees are in the way. Alright, can I do this now? Brake and let's see. Advanced. I have to do that. Uh, should I can I do it at the front? Is there a winch point at the front? Yes there is. That should work. Alright, and the uh, slowly is gonna definitely do it this time. Let's see what we can do here. Give it some gas and come on slowly. Oh, that was nice. That was not very problematic at all. <laughs> that thing is awesome actually. I think I'm going to have to go with the the G truck being superior to the Neva, just because of the of the looks. Um, all right, uh, let's stop that, and I'm gonna try to flip the Defender if I can, uh, and I'm gonna do it where I flip the, the G truck. 
so that's down here. I'm gonna have to go. Uh, so there's a nice. Oh, oh shit! No. Um. Okay, that was also not intentional, and um, I have never flipped a vehicle like that. Um. Yeah, I mean, I'm not even going to rescue it because that thing is just awesome. That is uh, a testament to how flat a front of a Defender is. Um, you can rest the whole car on it, uh, which explains why it has so much drag when you're going like on a highway or some shit. So... I'm just gonna leave this thing here and I'm gonna jump back into the the Mercedes and uh, we're gonna wrap this up here can I click on it all right let's take a look let's take a look at the thing uh, with with the G truck so this thing seems pretty good um, for the fact that it was flipped. Um, looks like the mirror is cracked, that doesn't really matter. So I went off here and I just sort of nosedived. I'm gonna have to go very slowly with this. Ooh, okay, I did not nosedive with this thing. Look at that shit though. That's just crazy. Oh uh, yeah. Um, so uh, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, for uh, this episode uh, so um, uh, oh I didn't really uh, give you my final decision of course uh, I got I would go for G-Wagon the G-Truck the Mercedes G-Class whatever you want to call it um, it is it is also called the, the Steyr because it's built in the Steyr plant um, in Austria uh, so anyway I would go for this truck um, just because it looks better than the Neva even though pretty much it has very similar off-road capabilities and because uh, it's sort of uh, I was sort of disappointed by it and because uh, it uh, it's not very reliable let's be honest and a um, mm, couple of other reasons actually I did not go for the Defender, uh, which comes in third place, and uh, it will make for a very nice statue right there in the background. Uh, so, as always, thank you very much for watching. Uh, check out my other videos. Uh, you can like this video and subscribe also. And uh, I will see you next time. And this thing is just moving all by itself.